Hundreds of migrants walk through Macedonia every day, all hoping to reach Western Europe. These people have already survived the deadly Mediterranean crossing in makeshift boats. We're now on the borders between Greece and Macedonia. This is one of the biggest groups we've seen so far. Most of the people we've seen today were Syrians. According to several human rights groups, Macedonia has become one of the worst places for migrants in Europe. Some people, they walk for four days, others six days, others ten days. And even the Macedonian police, are, they rob us. They take our money and papers and uh, they beat us up. They even let their dogs to terrorize us. One of them pointed his gun at us. They put us in cars and took us towards the borders again. And then, when they got us off the cars, they started to beat us with batons. I had a lot of money, I had a nice house, I have a lot of cars. I lost all, I lost everything. I got nothing now, I got, I got no life. And on top of that, we get this problem. In the capital, Skopje, the government says it's struggling to deal with the enormous wave of migrants passing through this year. Da, uh, yes, uh, there were uh, police officers who were suspected that uh, they have attacked illegal immigrants. We had many police officers charged that they were part of this uh, international chain of uh, smuggling uh, illegal immigrants. The UN says there is an even bigger problem for migrants in Macedonia. This is Gazi Baba, the country's main detention center for migrants. The UN and local human rights groups says it's inhumane. So uh, this uh, building is totally inappropriate for keeping the, the foreigners, to keeping illegal migrants. And it can get worse. Here in the north of the country, very close to the Serbian border, many are being held for ransom by criminal gangs. This is Loyan, a name that is repeated with fear by migrants who have already been to Macedonia. We are told it's too dangerous to ask questions around here. But a migrant held inside one of these houses sent us a cry for help from his phone. Yesterday the man came, you know, I have to give him like 300 euros, but I don't know, I don't know what to do, I don't have, I don't have two fifty now. What really, you know, makes me angry is that, you know, it's about our girls. They, they try to sleep with them. If you refuse, they don't push you, even if you pay. This is rape. We learned from locals that many migrants are held here until they pay around 300 euros. Some stay here for weeks until someone sends them some money. The Macedonian government told the BBC it would investigate these claims. There are also plans for a new legislation that would allow migrants to cross the country in 72 hours. It aims to stop police brutality and stop traffickers. But until that happens, the flow of desperate and vulnerable people through here continues. Dina Demirdash, BBC News.